You are my best friend and biggest support. You're the only woman I want to grow old with. You stop me from running during lightning storms and from driving too close to angry elephants. I may not like it at the time, but I know you're only looking out for my safety. Meeting you has been the greatest adventure in my life. Wherever I am and when I am with you, I feel like I am at home, here. And I adore you and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you being your wife. It's been a long, long time in saying welcome to the family, Sean. We've been waiting a long, long time. It has been a long time, Sean. <laughs> Three of Daniela's friends here tonight that she flattered with in London tell me that before this budding romance commenced, they had many walks around Gladstone Park in London, deciphering with Daniela the true meaning behind Sean's messages when they first started contacting each other. Were these messages just friendly, or was there something more? But as soon as Daniela spotted Sean's pearly white perfect teeth in Dubai, for her, it was a done deal. I've actually still got Sean's ring. I didn't trust him without it, so I've kept it. First saw Daniela when I was 11 years old on a cadet camp. She was at the end of the line, waiting to use the swing rope above the waterhole. Her blonde hair was glistening and blowing in the winds. Maybe not literally, but that's why I choose to remember it. Wearing her black and white onesie and looking gorgeous. Sounds weird to say that now, but remember we were both 11 years old at the time. I was holding the rope, about to swing, and decided to impress her with my upside down reverse Superman dive, which was guaranteed to win her heart. After a couple of nervous swings, with so much on the line, I launched, but lost my nerve and ended up doing a belly flop. Needless to say, no hearts were won that day. Luckily for me, 20 years later, after stalking each other on Facebook, we decided to meet up for a friendly catch-up and coffee in Dubai. Firstly, <laughs> firstly, no one goes to Dubai for a friendly catch-up. And, and I didn't drink coffee at the time. <laughs> I really didn't. Uh, so after a couple of awkward days trying to suss each other out, I needed to hold her hand for a busy crowd and then didn't let go for an unnaturally long time. The secret was out, but maybe there was more than just a mutual love of Dubai coffee. During that week, I decided I would marry Daniela. Sean, I've only met you a handful of times, but I see you make Daniela really happy. Um, we've always needed a reason for her to leave London and you were it. You've changed her in ways we never thought possible, i.e. she's taken up running. Might I add, still in shock, this was not her forte. You came into my life and completely changed my world, literally. Uh, if someone had told me in my teens that I would be marrying the boy who was known as the Danger Mouse, who was into high-risk activities and a running enthusiast, I would have swiped left. Oh wow, oh babe, it looks <laughs> stunning. As some of you know, I'm a bit of a late bloomer and uh, a bit slow on the uptake when it comes to love. So when I met Sean again at Dubai International Airport in July 2015, I just knew he was the lid to my pot. <laughs> when I had actually accepted that, that I might be a frying pan. <laughs> Daniela, I love you and you're my best friend. I promise to encourage you, inspire you, laugh with you and be a safe haven for you. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. I promise to recycle and be honest when I forget. I promise to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. You are my person, my fellow adventurer, partner in mischief, my love and my life. I pledge to you all these things from the bottom of my heart for the rest of our lives. 
I promise to support you with your dreams and goals and I will walk with you side by side down any path we choose to take. I promise to accept that we are different and sometimes we will see the world differently. I promise to try my best to be open-minded and open to trying new experiences. I promise never to try to change you because I love you just the way you are. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort, and when you're training for comrades or not training. And most of all, I promise to love and honour and respect you, no matter what lies before us, for as long as we both shall live. Do you have to see a man on his knees? Something wrong 